Welcome back. Recording three of today. Uh, so we had the motherfucker. You've got the same brand in Scorpion Pepper, and I'm being paid to do it because my pat because obviously they're not going to sponsor me. They don't know who the fuck I am. Exactly. I and I'm working to get the funds together. So this is this same... is the same brand. The reason we're having a different flavor that's not Scorpion first is because it's air dried beef, which is not a jerky type that I'm personally familiar with, to my knowledge. This is habanero, which shouldn't be nearly as bad. It's well below ghost pepper, and I know for a fact I can handle habanero. Yeah, so this is essentially just a... Uh, What's this texture like? Yeah, like a trial run of the jerky brand itself. Yeah. Just gonna tuck that into the fry container that's in my other cup holder. Okay. Oh. oh, you smell fantastic! Get a smell of that. Yeah, let me get, let me get under this guy's corner. All right. Hold on, mom. I will. I never remember the name of this road, and yet somehow I remembered it this time. That does smell good. That smells amazing! I will not be trying a piece of that because habanero is well above my non-existent spice tolerance. It looks like fucking bacon. Ah, it's nice and chewy. Not jerky, in my opinion, should be. Mm. Kind of spicy. <laughs> Was that a creeper? A little bit. Oh, it tastes amazing. And then the spice hits you. And it keeps hitting you. Oh dear. Yeah. Again, this is well within my spice tolerance compared to like the ghost pepper one. The ghost pepper ramen, for instance, or like a lot of the spicy stuff I've done lately. This is well within what I can comfortably handle. This is amazing. Yeah, I feel I feel like the only ghost pepper thing I've ever seen you try that was within your spice spice tolerance was the ghost pepper whopper. Mmm. This is great. I love this. Vacadillas, carne seca, air dried beef, habanero flavor, good on ya. This is a 10. Really? This is fucking amazing. So you'd rank, so you would rank that above the jerky I got from BJ's? I think so, yeah. Yeah, cause I-, I Holy I, Moses! Spice <laughs> kitchen. Oh, it accumulates! It accumulates fast! <laughs> oh no! Holy mother of God! Oh God, how's that gonna mix with fucking We're gonna find watermelon. out how it's gonna mix with watermelon. Oh no. Um, Cause I've seen spicy fruit snacks before. Or spicy fruit flavored snacks, I should say. Mm -hmm. Habanero watermelon has some problems to it. God, my mouth is fucking watering from this. Oh dear. <laughs> like in the good way. Cause I wanna keep eating that, but if I do, I'm not having a good time because it's just gonna keep fucking building. Yeah. But that is incredible. Absolutely a 10. He's not going to try because he doesn't do spice. Hell no, I don't. But, fuck, that's good. We got a couple other things as well, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Yeah, so, uh, as, we, as we found out in a recent video, because I'm just going to keep this going. Go as ahead. we found out in a video we recorded last night at the time of recording this video, while I don't have a spice tolerance... But he's got a pretty good tolerance for sour. Which is very weird. Sour hits me like a truck, as it should, because fuck, I love sour. Yeah. It doesn't really hit him that much. So, we've made the arrangement, we shook on it everything in the video that we recorded last night, that going forward for like stuff like Masks and Mondays, he's gonna have sour, I'll have spicy. Both pain, but of the different varieties. Exactly. And I'm, and I'm starting to think that for my, for my sour, until we find one that's insanely fucking sour for me to where it breaks my concentration a little bit, like spice does for you. Yep. Just do the, uh, do the blue res watermelon taffy. Yeah, okay. Oh, we're just continuing this video we're working yeah. on here? All right. So what the fuck am we getting into? The, uh, Lifesavers Sour Gummies. I believe I've had these before. I could be wrong. 
Yeah, I have obviously never had them because until just last night, I avoided sour. Yeah. Let's get you more in frame. You can cut me off a little bit. <laughs> if we can zoom out more. Yeah, it kind of sucks that the front facing camera doesn't have a wide angle lens. Yeah, silly be. I gotta take my hat off. Bye, Pat. Yeah. So our flavors here are tangy cherry, watermelon, orange, strawberry, and black raspberry. I mean, that smells tart. That's everything that I want a sour candy to smell like. Right. Which is very Please weird. Please be sour. Hey, tell me about it. Don't disappoint us like most warheads do. Don't mm. disappoint us like most sour candy does. So we're starting with grape? Starting with black raspberry. Or black raspberry, not grape. Is that all sugar? Uh, that's the, uh, the, um. Sour? The sour, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Mm. It had the hint of wanting to be sour for a minute. It wants to be more sour than it is. It keeps trying to say, hey, I'm sour, but no. Yeah. But that's just the black raspberry, so. Black rasp, not that sour. We'll see what the others are like. Yeah. I got a dual flavor. <laughs> Well, I've got orange. I'll save that. Yeah. Let's find you an orange. All right. Dink it. Sank it. Shit, I blatantly stole from another channel. So, well. That's not sour. No, that's just a sweet, uh, oh, hell yeah. A sweet orange. I mean, I don't hate that, though. No. It's that's good. good. Lightsaber's orange is great. Oh, yeah. Next is the tangy cherry. This would better be good. Are they the same shade of red? Yes. Okay. Hello. Well, yeah. Goodbye. Well, I do have a decent sour tolerance. That's not sour to me at all. It wants to be. Like, I thought, like, okay, maybe it is, and then it's like, no. It's the briefest of flare-ups, and then it's gone. Yeah. One that I'm really hoping. This is the... Watermelon. Watermelon? Okay. Which is next to strawberry, our last flavor. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it wants to be sour. Mm-hmm. I don't like the taste of that. No. That's not a good watermelon. Not at all. It almost, my brain keeps thinking the powder on it is salt. Like it's not, but it keeps thinking it is. I guess that's our strawberry? I guess. Well, pink is definitely strawberry. So track down another pink. Unless this is watermelon, which it might be. Who fucking knows? No, watermelon would have had to be in been green because there's no oh, yeah. apple. Okay, got a pink. Boink. Well. I'm disappointed. Mm-hmm. Good strawberry, but not good sour. The black raz was the closest one to me that Do we have a couple of those half and halves? I only see I only saw one and it's been lost. Oh, okay. here's one. All right, let's see if we can find another. Bonus flavor, unknown. How bad could it possibly be? There's not another one. All right, hang on. Come yeah, on. Yeah, get off me. Well, you smell great. Actually, yeah. But you're not sour. No. That's like the cherry and the orange come, came together on the fa on the line. Not bad. Orange and cherry has potential as a flavor combination that uh -huh. I never thought about. I'm very disappointed. So am I. Like, they want to be sour. They want to be more sour than they are. For, like, casual sour people. Go for it. Fuck it. Ah. If you want something a little more interesting than just the regular lifesaver scummies, 
I'm still pro if I get the chance, I'm still probably gonna get the regular Lifesavers gummies over the sours anyways, because I just don't like that texture. Yeah, they've got that crystally shit on the outside, and I've got this weird feeling of like in the back of my jaw, something's up. Yeah, so I'm not finishing these personally. You wanna offer them to Aaron then? Yeah. All right. Because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna eat a candy, I'm gonna make sure I enjoy the entire experience of the candy. The taste is good on on most of these. Except for a couple. Yeah, the, the watermelon's not good. The orange no. is great. Which is which is funny because the only light the only Jolly Rancher not Jolly Rancher, the only jelly bean that you and I didn't like from the Warheads one was the watermelon. Yeah. So watermelon just watermelon flavor, the fake one, is sour on its own. Yeah. But watermelon itself is not. And I feel like the sour candies are trying to be just the actual fruit. watermelon. Yeah. But yeah. And they're not, they're doing a good job at that. But it's not sour. Yeah, it's nowhere near sour. I wanted to like these. And I do like them. They're okay. But there are three. Yeah. In the grand scheme of candy. I'll, I'll give it a, a, I will at least give it the benefit of a four. If I feel like having something a little more interesting than just plain Lifesavers gummies, I'll get the sours. <laughs> but they're not good. No. I still feel some of the fucking shit in between my teeth. Oh, yeah, no, that's... And it's not the gummies, either. It's the fucking coating that's on it. Yeah. That's a, that's not even a good feeling. I, I wanted to like these more. I genuinely did. Candy companies. Take notes from fucking Jolly Ranchers, which is a weird thing to say. If you're gonna do watermelon, make it good. Right. Make it tart. Because regular watermelon, watermelon doesn't taste like that. Watermelon Jolly Ranchers are more sour. Are more sour than these, and they're not Ranch even marketed as sour. Exactly. Imagine that has to be a thing. I'm, I would look it up, but my phone's just about dead. Yeah, we'll charge it. We'll, I guess, charge it up when we get inside. Yeah. Um. But, anything else we got to review? I think we're good. We're good. All right. This was it. Quick ish review out. See you guys. Bye.